used to sit right here, and uh, I'm getting too big for these chairs now. But anyway, I used to sit right here and, and play, but I mean, it's not like it was when I was young. I mean, all we got is this uh, weird little Atari 7800 joystick. Here's the 7800 here, but we never had that when I was little. We only had the 2600. So I'd sit here and play all these 2600 games. I play, I played Laser Blast for like three hours straight. I got 890,000 points on it. Uh, I I could roll pack. I could roll over Pac-Man and, and video pinball. I could just play them forever. I had a, a pattern for Atari Pac-Man. Just I knew where to move so I could avoid the ghosts on every screen. But uh, we got recently, about two years ago, or something. I alphabetized all the games here finally for the first time ever because we have like about 250 Atari games now. We have like. Most of the games that Atari put out, and then we have a lot of games that other companies put out too. We have all the big tech games here, all the Activision games are in here, US games, Parker Brothers, Coleco. Um, and there's some more Atari games under here, and there's some more back there in a box somewhere. And My brother, he was in really into Nintendo. I mean, whenever Nintendo came out, I stopped, kind of stopped playing games. I still played some Atari, that was about it. But my brother, got this whole collection of Nintendo games here, all these, there's some there, everywhere. And he's got uh, his Nintendo there, then he has his Super Nintendo, and his Nintendo 64. Now he's got that uh, GameCube, oh yeah, it's right here. Now he's got that, and a PlayStation 2, I don't play that stuff. He's got a TurboGrafx-16 here, which oh, is apparently wow. pretty obscure. And um, here's, he's got a Sega Master System. There's an Atari, Atari computer under here, I don't know if it's the 800 or the 400. We got a television back here and all the games. There's ColecoVision. Somewhere around here, all the ColecoVision games are there. There's a Texas Instruments system of games there. Um, they have the Atari 5200 somewhere too. Yeah, and my mom found, yesterday my mom went to a, a garage sale and got a Atari game we've never, we never had, or I've never played. Because we have like 250, you know, we have so many, it's pretty rare anymore that uh, I get one I've never played, but she just got one. <clears throat> hey mom, let me see that game. <laughs> Oh boy, I've never played this one. It's Tapeworm by Spectre Vision. I'm really looking forward to playing this. <laughs> Take it home and give it a try. It's pretty rare, I guess. That's not the list. This is partial no, list. No, where's that list that we have in that manila folder? Oh, in the folder? Yeah, you know where that is? Oh, yeah. Find, find that. These are, and then here are ones that we, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, 11, 10 we're looking for that we haven't been able to find yet. Uh, I don't know. There's, there's at least 100 games we don't have it, probably more, maybe 200. There's so many, like, little companies that put out one game. They're so hard to find. I mean, obviously, you know, I looked on eBay and, you know, their games, those are games that are selling for, like, $100 or something. They do have a couple really rare games here that are, like, they're the kind of games that, uh, on eBay, that go for, like, $100 some dollars or something. One is uh, Chase the Chuck Wagon. That came from Purina, the Purina Company. That one caught, that one's on eBay because for so much money. The other one was uh, Tooth Protectors. I wonder where that is. I think this one go on eBay for like, well, I think $200. I saw it go once. It's pretty pretty hard to find. Johnson Johnson. These are games you got if you sold, sent in labels or something. So they're really rare. I found, I, I don't find very many anymore. I, this is the one I found recently. I went to a Goodwill and I found this London Blitz game. This was put out by a company called Avalon Hill. I printed this list off the internet of every Atari game they ever put out, and I highlighted all the ones we had. But uh, so like everything that's yellow is, is the ones we have. Thing is, on this list, a lot of the ones that aren't highlighted are ones they never actually released. They just said that they were, you know, they were ones they said were coming out and never put out. So that's why a lot of those ones aren't aren't highlighted. But uh, once you get into this other stuff, like there's only like Activision games we have. There's only like you know maybe six that we don't have. They're like very rare ones. One, there was one I was really looking for called Private Eye. I played it back in like 83, right when they stopped making games. And like, so then I, it took me like, I finally got it and I think it was um, 1999, I think, when I finally got it. <laughs> it's like 16 years later, I was really happy to finally get that. Um, I mean, I never really played, most of the games that I really want that I don't have are ones I never played but that I saw on TV and stuff like Texas Chainsaw Massacre and Halloween. Those are the ones that you have to actually put some money out to buy now because they're so rare. I mean, I'm just I don't not I don't feel like spending that kind of money 
on a, on a, on a Atari game. <laughs> it's not worth it. Not that I don't want to play it, but it's just not something that to spend money on. I had it written. Oh, okay. We had 254, so now we have 255. I have the list. I have to look at that list whenever I go to have a look. Oh, you have a list in your purse. Yeah, yeah. keeping my purse. I know. If I, I see a game, like, I cannot remember everything. I guess I like the Atari best of all because it was the first the one. 26. Yeah, I like playing Asteroids and um, Laser Blast. I like those ones. Before I got into writing songs, that's all I did. Video game. <laughs> so my songs are all like a video game. Maybe that's like my influence on my melodies and structure and stuff is just from the music and Atari games. <laughs> That's a thought. I never thought of that before.